Every run starts with some thinking, visualizing the whole run, doing every trick ideally in my head, getting pumped. Then I drop in. I start with the hardest trick in my run, the front 10. That makes the run risky and the judges reward it pretty good. To stomp the trick, I need to pop at the right moment, spin really fast, hold the grab as long as possible to do all three rotations. As I ride up the wall, I try to get just the right amount of pop so I don't land too deep and lose the speed for the next trick. When I'm at about two and a half rotations, I spot the landing and land switch. The next trick is cap 7. I do a double grab and most importantly get inverted on that one, which just looks way better. It's one of the easier tricks to land because you spot the landing very fast and hit the snow normal. The amplitude of tricks ideally has to stay the same throughout the entire run. That also means carrying the speed from trick to trick. The next one is my favorite and I always try to give it a little extra effort in style. The front 9 is a lot like the front 10 without the 180, but it's much harder to land because you're coming in blind. The next trick is a simple back 5 and it's the easiest one in my run. I poke it out a little bit and finish my run. This is the run I've been doing the entire season, focusing on height, style and execution. It's time to step it up and I'm working hard to add a spin, go higher, faster and make it look easy. I was really pumped on landing my first frontside 1080 double cork at the end of the season. Now I just have to do it over and over until it becomes natural and I can put it in my run. I've set my goals and now it's time to make it happen.